Ex-Liverpool footballer turned pundit Graham Souness has declared he has no regrets after he described a Premier League match between two men's teams as a, quote, man's game. This was his post-match analysis of the fiery London Derby between Chelsea and Spurs, which ended with both male managers sent off. And it enraged the perpetually offended woke mob watch. The game, when you see simulation, people throw themselves to the ground. I've not seen that in the two games today. It's, it's a man's game all of a sudden again. And the referee, I thought, had a fabulous game, other than something we'll point out later. But I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed both games today. That, OK, you know, the, if there is such a thing as a purist who watches football, might get a wee bit excited with themselves when the two managers are, are getting upset with each other. But I'm sorry, it's professional sport. That's what it's all about. You want to win so much. Soonest has since doubled down on his comments despite backlash from lightweight social media activists and female footballers like Lionesses star Bethany England, who told the former Scotland international to, quote, get in the bin. Naturally, Sky Sports bowed to the woke mob and issued a pathetic groveling statement on Zunessa's behalf, saying, to clarify my comments from yesterday, I was referring to the two Premier League matches I watched live on Sunday afternoon rather than the sport of football. Football is a game for everyone to enjoy. But what do you think? Was Graham Souness wrong to describe football as a man's game? Let me know your thoughts by emailing Dan at gbnews.uk. Tweet me at gbnews. And while you're there, vote in our poll. Our results shortly... But before that, let me bring in tonight's all-star lineup to debate this. Top football manager Harry Redknapp, broadcaster Nicola McLean and the writer Anna May Mangan. Now, Harry, you obviously know Graham Souness well. And yep. I think you know for a fact that he actually really enjoyed uh, the women's football and the success of the Lionesses. Absolutely. I played golf with Graham about 10 days ago and we were chatting about what a great tournament the Euros were and how the final was fantastic, the atmosphere, the football that was played, the standard of the play. And Graham was, yeah. So there's, there's no way that Graham's uh, anti-women's football whatsoever. It was it was just, it was a statement about the way the game used to be and, you know, how physical it was. And it was played between 22 men. And he said it was a real man's game going back to in the old days, blood and thunder. He didn't mean any disrespect to the women's football, none whatsoever. I think we've all loved what we've seen recently. We've all loved that more young girls are getting involved playing football now. And the standard is amazing. I went and coached a, a, a team, helped to coach a team on Sunday morning, uh, a women's team that were down in Bournemouth. So uh, there's, we're not, anti, no one's anti women's game. We absolutely love what's happening. Um, and I think it, it's all been taken out of context, what Graham said. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong, is there, Harry, with noting that there are differences between the men's game and the women's game? I mean, it's unlikely you, you would see women getting that physical. And that's not a bad thing, is it? He was just pointing out the difference. I wouldn't want to see two women coaches having a fight on the touchline, to be truthful with you. It wouldn't appeal to I me mean, any more than I want to see the two men having a go. But I really wouldn't enjoy that if, if it was the women's football. I, I've, been, I've been really impressed with the skill they, uh, and the aggression, everything that goes with it. But it, it was over the top, lots of that game on Saturday, on Sunday. It was very, very physical and a lot of it, you know, wasn't particularly nice. Uh, and Graham was just, you know, in his opinion, it was a throwback to the old days when you could kick lumps out of each other um, and get away with it. And that's what he was really trying to put the point over. But I don't think Graham's at all anti, anti the women's game in this country. I think we're all loving what we're seeing. Nick McLean, did, did you have any problem with what Graham said? No, absolutely not. I totally agree with Harry. I think it was very clear that he was talking about a game of football between men. He wasn't saying, if he was talking about, if he was commentating on women's football and said, no, this is not a game for women, it's a game for men, we'd all have a problem because Harry's quite right. We've loved what we've seen. It's brilliant that more young girls are getting involved and that how well the Lionesses have done. Graham was literally talking about men playing football. It was a game for men. That game was a game for men. And there is a difference between women and men's football. There always will be. And that's fine. Like, we're trying to fight so much for women's rights. But we only want it one way. We only seem to want it. Like, we, everyone's been fine with everyone saying, oh, it's finally come home and, like, really bigging up the girls. Like, brilliant. But as soon as a man said this was a brilliant game for men, 
women have got a problem with it. It's like, it's so, everyone's going to get cancelled. Like, we literally cannot say anything without, so, I mean, the yeah. tweet about, you know, just go in the bin. That's, that for me is more derogatory than what Graham Sunnessy said. He was commentating, he was being paid to commentate on TV about two men's teams. But, I know. you know, and, and immediately he's able to be completely dismissed, get in the yeah. bin, cancel yeah. him. That's what these folk want to do. Anna May Mangan, I believe you actually think that Graham Sooners does deserve a red card for this, though. Why? Yeah, I do. I think that's a big difference of what he says when he's commentating on, on the sofa at home or in the pub and what he says when he's commentating, especially if he's sat next to Karen Carney, who's an ex-female pro. I think he made it sound like football is about balls and not the football. It's, me it's a men's game, territorial about it, like they own it. And there's a massive difference between men's and women's football. I'm, I live in Wembley. I've been to internationals where the conduct is disgusting. Um, I don't have to remind many people of that uh, Twitter photo of a guy with a firework up his bum celebrating <laughs> that big international match recently. Women would never behave like that. You can, go to, you can go, you can take your kids, you can enjoy it, and it's entirely different. And actually, I think the men should be trying to emulate the women, not having the coaches virtually knocking each other's lights out on the side of the pitch, hair pulling, bad tackles. It's, why is that fated? I mean, it's wrong. You know, the game is about passion, not about... Yeah, but isn't that the point? I mean, look, OK, men, you prefer yeah. the men's game to the women's game, but isn't the point Sunest was making, anime that they're yeah. different? I mean, you're backing that up. He, you're conceding that different. He said what he said, and he certainly shouldn't have mansplained it afterwards and then added, oh. I'm not changing my mind about it, take it or leave it. I think he was very insensitive, actually. Nicola? Well, you've just been totally sexist. You've been totally sexist towards men. You've said that, you know, I, I take my kids to all football games. We love football. I've just cut, I've just stopped watching Watford to come in here and do this. <laughs> Sorry about so that. <laughs> you're, you're, sit, you're sitting there shaming men, but that's okay. You'll be fine with that because men can get shamed and women can't because that's the day and age we live at. You won't get tweets, say, getting cancelled, but Graham soon has done. It's just, it, women make me laugh. Like we, we, we can say whatever we want about men, but men can't say nothing about us. Anna? Well, I think what men should be saying about women in football is at the moment is congratulations, and I wish we could have done... Oh, Harry, Harry's been such a matter supporter. Men are saying that. that. Sorry, I didn't catch that. I said, p people are. Look, you've got Harry Redknapp sitting there. He's been a massive supporter of the game, and so has most professional footballers. They've all come out. Men are saying that. It's just that if they do one one thing that might that, that you can hang on to, that's what's happening, and people are getting cancelled. It was like Gary Lineker in the bra tweet. He wasn't being sexist. Oh, he was making a I don't, funny want go. To, I don't want him to be cancelled, but I don't want to be mansplained to either. And I think that he should have been more careful about what he said. But, what, but, but, but I'm sorry. That. And also, and Mate, mansplaining is but actually he... sexist because what you're saying is that if a bloke points out a fact to you that are mansplaining, if a woman says it, it's fine. I mean, I want to bring Harry Redknapp in because Anna May made quite a lot of nasty claims there about the men's game, Harry. And look, of course, some boisterous fans might every now and then put a firework in their nether regions, but that isn't the majority, is it? I, I think no. that was no, quite unfair. I, most people... No, the majority go. They love the game. They go and watch the game. Like, you know, I go every week to watch Bournemouth play. The atmosphere is fantastic. People are there with their kids. I go with my grandkids. No, it's 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 you know it's still it's still the greatest game in the world. And you'll always get a few people that will spoil it for the for the majority if they can. But that's that's the way it's been, and it is very tribal the men's game, and that will never change. You know, the supporters go there and they do chant and they do give a bit of abuse to each other. But that's all that's that's the way it is. It's that's not gonna change. But you know, it's I don't know. I just think anything you say now gets blown out of all proportion. Yeah. You've got to be so careful. You open your mouth, you say one word wrong and everybody's jumping on you. It's it's quite scary. And to be honest, I, I don't envy Graham and the rest of the guys that work on T V because as soon as you say a wrong word, as I say, people are going to be jumping down your throat every time. It's, it's getting more and more difficult. No, indeed. Anime, can I just pick you up on the use of that word mansplaining? Because we actually had a debate on the show about it last night. What, what do you mean? If a man offers their opinion 
on a topic yeah. and you happen to disagree with the opinion. In, in this do, instance, do you count saying, that as mansplaining? In this instance, Graham Sooner said something that was, I think, inappropriate. And when he got the response that he did, people weren't try out to try and cancel him. They were expressing their opinion back because they were upset with him. I mean, they're very old fashioned 1980 view of football. So when people came piled in on him because of what he said, that, then he, instead of saying sorry or explaining or acknowledging that he'd done something, he explained what he thought and said, by the way, uh, football's for everyone at the end. That wasn't an apology or an explanation. Or an Why should he apologise? upset people were. He had nothing, Nicola, he had nothing no reason to apologise. It was no, an old-fashioned... I, I think he did. Old-fashioned man's game that well. we've grown up so and watched so many years. So what's wrong with me years? expressing my views as well as him? Yeah, I mean, it's Harry, not, I you, actually... You express your views, but then you won't get cancelled because you're a woman. You're a woman, and women are allowed to, but men aren't. That's what I'm saying. You know, you, people will not be saying to you to get in the bin because it's all right to man shame, but it's not all right to just make simple views on a game of men. There wasn't any women on that football pitch, so I don't, no. I don't see what the problem was. No, indeed. Anna May, what was inappropriate? What was inappropriate was that he used, he identified his views in terms of gender. And also, he didn't really acknowledge that it was a dirty match, wasn't it, in a lot of ways? There was a lot of bad behaviour going on, and he was saying, hey, it's like the good old days. Well, women don't play like that, and he kind of, he kind of pushed that aside to celebrate the bad stuff that was going on on the pitch. I mean, Nicola, this is and the disturbing thing, said, isn't it? Hold on a minute, we don't like that. Then... We're talking about cancelling him. Well, maybe he should do his job a bit better. It's not about cancelling him. It's not up to me to cancel him, but I do have... Well, I'm sorry, that lioness said that he should get in the bin. I mean, that is a modern description of saying he should be cancelled. Well, uh, everyone talks about the passion in the game, don't they? how passionate the game is. Maybe the, that player, because I believe that was a player who said that, maybe she felt very passionate, especially after she just brought it home, as they say, when the blokes couldn't. Nicola, the issue I have is that it feels like increasingly talking about gender at all, even acknowledging the fact that we have men and women in society will get you cancelled. That's absurd. This is the thing. You know, we can talk about gender. We can. You know, it, that's, it, it, sometimes I do these shows and I'm worried myself. So let alone being a man doing it, I'm thinking, oh, God, am I going to say something wrong? And really, it's not actually if I miss like if I misuse gender, it wouldn't be because I was trying to be offensive. It's because we've all got to learn and we've all we all can learn without getting cancelled. We all yes. can. But there is a big difference between the, wem the men in the women's game. And that's OK. The girls did brilliantly, but if a male footballer had told a, a women's footballer to get in the bin, this would be a totally different debate. Women are constantly trying to get like equality, but then they don't really want it. They, they, you know, you want the women to be treated differently to the men. It's fact. Nope, indeed, fascinating to debate. That's the broadcaster Nicola Clay. Ex-Premier League manager, football legend Harry Redknapp and the writer Anna Mae Mangan. Thank you also. Who do you agree with? Was Graham Sooness wrong to describe football as a man's game? Well, Andrew on Twitter said, last time I checked, Premier League football, which is what he was analysing when he made the comment, is a man's game. From Sarah, who brought the European Cup home to England? Definitely not the men. And from Sean, a spade is a spade with Graham Sooness. He was analysing a man's game and we were brought up with the men's game.